Spring Boot has a bunch of features which let you monitor your Spring Boot application in production or really any environment after you've deployed it. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is a thing called Actuator. So if you go to start.spring.io and uh, if you switch to the full version, you see here there are all these categories for dependencies. You have core, you have web, template engine, SQL, NoSQL, a whole lot of stuff. But at the very bottom, you have this thing called ops and uh, this has a bunch of dependencies over here. What I'm going to be talking about is this thing called actuator. As the description says here, it consists of production ready features to help you monitor and manage your application. So if you were to choose this when you're building your Spring Boot application, you're going to get one other dependency that gets added to the pom.xml. I'm going to add that over here manually because I don't want to create a new project again. This dependency is the Spring Boot Starter Actuator. Just like you have the Spring Boot Starter Data JPA and Spring Boot Starter Web, you also have a Spring Boot Starter Actuator. Now, Actuator is a group of binaries which get added to the class path, and just the fact of them being in the class path enables a few features. So let's look at that. Now, since I've added this, Maven has had a chance to get the dependencies. Now I'm going to run this project. Now I open Postman, and uh, if I do a get for topics, it returns an empty list again because there's no data, which makes sense. But here's what this opens up. I can do a get request to this URL, localhost 8080 slash health. Now this is not a controller that we wrote. This is thanks to Actuator. If I hit send, now here you can see that it is a JSON file with a bunch of metrics. It says the status is up. It has a JSON object called disk base, which tells you what's the total disk space, this is what's the total, this is what's free. And then it has a database section, which also says the status is up and the database is Apache Derby. This is the embedded database, right? So this is a new endpoint that got added to our application without us having to write a controller. This is thanks to us creating this actuator dependency and adding it in there. So this actuator dependency figures out what are those metrics and makes them available as a new endpoint over here, all right? This is now attached to the application itself. Now, whatever is your application URL, wherever you deploy it, there's also gonna be a health URL. This is not necessarily the same. You could have it be a different URL. So again, in order to do that, just go to your resources, application.properties. You've already seen server.port. Now what we need is management.port. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to a different port, which is 9001. I'm gonna save this. Kill the server. And start it again. And now I should be able to access the application itself in localhost 8080 and I should be able to access the actuator endpoint in localhost 9001, sorry. Now we see it's exposed at a different URL. So this is handy if you wanna create different rules and access rights for who gets to access your uh, metrics URL versus your actual application. In order to learn more about Actuator, I would recommend this guide, Building RESTful Web Services with Spring Boot Actuator, which kind of walks through what I just did. But uh, here's another resource, which is the Actuator documentation itself. And uh, here you see the endpoint section has a bunch of different endpoints that makes it very easy for you to look at what's happening. So what we saw was health. Let's look at beans. Now here you see you get a list of all the beans that you have in your application. So it gives you the name of the bean, the scope, what's the what's the type including the package name, the resource which links to the actual class file, and what dependencies it has. So this is super useful if you want to analyze uh, an existing Spring Boot application and see what's going on. So there are a lot of really cool features which I definitely recommend you check out. So this was Actuator in a nutshell.